let's just put it this way. This is a very unique place. We've been here since 1932 as a plant collection established by Colonel Robert Montgomery as a place to grow palms and cycads. As a botanic garden, we've been here since 1959, established by Nell Montgomery as a place to advance education, conservation, and research. excel at here and what makes us different from a lot of other botanic gardens is we have so many scientific visitors. We have a place for them to stay and we have a laboratory where they can do their work. But the reason why they come here is because of the exceptional plant collection. We get visitors here from all over the world and all across the United States. Uh, they tend to show up in the winter months when it's very comfortable here in Miami. So a collection of living plants is a unique resource for lots of different things. Uh, one thing that you can do with them is you can study them in an environment that makes scientific experimentation very simple. It's almost like having a wonderful museum, but the museum is composed of living collections. Another very important thing that you can do with a living collection of plants is you can actually prevent some plants from going extinct. We have many examples here at Montgomery Botanical Center of plants that really would not be here on our planet except for the fact that we're growing them here in a botanic garden. And there's some uh, really wonderful examples, things like Corypha taliera and some other palms and a number of cycads. collecting plants here at Montgomery has been going on since the very beginning. Uh, we've been collecting plants for over 80 years, beginning with Colonel Robert Montgomery. We've really intensified that work beginning in about 1992, and we've done a tremendous amount of research and co conservation field work since the year 2007. And we tend to do about anywhere between five and seven research field work trips per year. We collect in places around the world, uh, mostly in the tropics, but we have a really concentrated focus in the New World and particularly in the Caribbean and the Caribbean Basin because there's just so much wonderful palm and cycad diversity in this region. And South Florida is a great place to grow these kinds of plants. So a lot of people ask, why palms and why cycads? Well, they're the best plant groups. That's the main reason. But in seriousness, if you read your botany textbook, you know that you can learn a lot from those two plant groups. If you want to learn about ancient plants, some of the first seed plants, cycads offer a very good model to learn about that. And if you want to study some very interesting biological innovations, palm trees is a great place to start. And that's why we grow these plants here so people can study them and people can learn from them.